Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a playoff simulation in NHL 24 of the Stanley Cup Finals between the Edmonton Oilers and the Florida Panthers. I'm really excited for this series to get going. Probably the most excited I've been since the Montreal Canadiens participated back in 2021, but lost to the Tampa Bay Lightning. So we're going to see who EA thinks is going to win this series in NHL 24. Before we get started here, I did have it set up as Edmonton versus Florida East versus West, but for some reason it always puts Edmonton as the home team in this series even though it is Florida I had it set up the other way as well just in case but Florida on the left side Edmonton on the right side but it always defaults to Edmonton being the home team so let's get started here for game number one let's see who will get the crucial game one victory in this series after the first period it's a 1-1 score goals from San Reinhardt and Matthias Janmark after two periods while wow, the floodgates have really opened 4-4 goals from Ekblad Dreisaitl Reinhardt Dreisaitl gets another McDavid and Carter Verhage. Let's go on now to the third period, and it's still 4-4, so this game is going to be going to overtime. Let's see who's going to be the game one hero, and this game is over as Ryan Nugent Hopkins beats Sergei Bobrovsky pretty early on into overtime. The Oilers have a 1-0 series lead. Let's take a look at the three stars. The third star is Evander Kane. He had three assists. Nugent Hopkins, he's a second star. He had a goal and assist, and Leon Dreisaitl, he's a first star. He had two goals and three hits. So we're now on to game number two of the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's see if Florida can even up this series heading back home, or is Edmonton going to take a 2-0 series lead? It's 2-1 for the Panthers after one. Two goals from San Reinhardt and Evander Kane gets on the board for the Edmonton Oilers. After two periods, it's 3-3, so same as last game. We were tied going into the third period. Goals from McDavid, Bouchard, and Gustav Forsling. And after three periods, Florida will take this one. They score three third period goals from Forsling, Verhage, and Tarasenko, Matisse. Yann Mark gets on the board for the Edmonton Oilers, but it's not enough as Florida will take this one 6-4. The third star, Evan Bouchard, he had a goal and an assist and a hit. Second star is Sam Reinhart with two goals and an assist and two hits. And Carter Verhage is the first star. He had four points, a goal, three assists, and one hit. We are now on to game number three between Edmonton and Florida here in the Stanley Cup Finals. We're in sunrise now for this one. Let's see who will take game number three. one nothing for the Oilers after one as Connor McDavid buries on Sergei Bobrovsky. After two periods, it's a 2-1 score. Goals from Matthew Kachuk and Derek Ryan. The Oilers are holding a lead going into the third period, and they will take this one 4-3. Third period goals from Lundell, Derek Ryan, Darnell Nurse, and Sam Reinhart. And the Oilers have a 2-1 series lead. Let's take a look at the three stars in this one, Reinhardt, he's the third star. He had a goal and assist and one hit. Matthew Kachuk, second star. He had also had a goal and assist. He had seven hits, though. And Derek Ryan had himself quite the evening. First star with two goals and an assist. We are now on to game number four here in the Stanley Cup Finals. Let's see if the Edmonton Oilers can take a 3-1 lead back home or will Florida even up this series and potentially force at least a game six in this series after the first period. There is no score. After the second period, there's still no score, so goaltenders are playing really well this game. After the third period, we're going to be headed to overtime once again. 1-1 is Nick Cousins and Evander Kane get on the board. Let's see who will be the hero here in overtime in game four. It was Ryan Nugent Hopkins in game number one and Ryan McLeod will be the hero here in game number four. Scores pretty early on on Sergei Bobrovsky to give the Oilers a 2-1 win and a 3-1 series lead. He's the third star with a goal and a hit. Sergei Bobrovsky's the second star. He was awesome. 1.96 goals against average, 26 saves, and 9.28 save percentage. And Stuart Skinner is the first star with a .98 goals against average, 34 saves, and a 9.71 save percentage. So here we are. We're on to game number five now. Back in Edmonton, the Oilers have a chance to win the Stanley Cup, or Florida can potentially pull off a miraculous comeback. They'll have to win three games in a row. After the first period, it's 1-0 for the Panthers as Evan Rodriguez gets on the board. After two periods, 2-1 two for the Panthers. Dmitry Kulikov and Cody Ceci get on the board, so the Panthers have a lead heading into this third period. Edmonton Oilers will score two goals in the third period. Adam Henrique and then Vincent DeHarnay, a guy who's been scratched at the end of the conference finals, he will get the game-winning goal for the Oilers to win the Stanley Cup. He's the third star with one goal. Adam Henrique is the second star with a goal and assist and two hits. And Stuart Skinner is the first star. His goals against average was two 31 saves and a 939 save percentage. 
So obviously the stats for the simulation are only from the Stanley Cup Finals. Five games, Sam Reinhardt, he led the whole playoffs in scoring five goals, three assists, eight points. Imagine scoring five goals in five games in the Cup Finals and losing. Kachuk at seven points, for Hagee at six, Evander Kane and Barkov at five, McDavid, Forsling, Dreisaitl, Bouchard, Hyman had four, Yanmark, Derek Ryan, Nugent Hopkins, McLeod had three points, Henrique, Ekblad, CeCe, Perry, Montour, Lois Reinen, Fogel had two points. Kulikov had one point. Same with Cousins, Tarasenko, Rodriguez, Lundell, DeHarnay, Nurse, Carrick, Bennett, Ekholm, Kulak. So a bunch of guys had one point. Same with Ocposo. Then the rest of the guys did not record a point. Oliver Ekman, Larson, Ryan Lomberg, and Nico Mikola in five games. Taking a look at the goaltenders here. Skinner outdueled Bobrovsky. He went 4-1, 907 save percentage, and a 2.98 goals against average. While Sergei Bobrovsky was 1-2-2, and two, an 893 save percentage, and a 3.59 goals against average. So thank you very much for watching this video, a simulation of the Stanley Cup Finals here in 2024 between the Edmonton Oilers and the Florida Panthers. Edmonton ends up taking this simulation in five games. Honestly, I don't really see this happening. I see Edmonton potentially winning this series, but I don't think it's going to happen in five games. I think it would be more or less like six or seven. If so, I don't think Florida is going down easy. They lost in five games last year to Vegas, and I think they're really hungry this year to win the Stanley Cup. If you haven't had the chance to check out any of my other content, I'd really appreciate it if you can go back and do so. It would help me out if you can like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads.